In previous tutorials, we showed how to create the evaporation and condensation phases of our water cycle animation. Now we'll create the precipitation phase. Select the water cycle composition from your gallery. View each of the elements in your animation by tapping the upside down triangle above the timeline. Notice that each of your elements is on its own layer. Extend your background element from 4 to 8 seconds, so your background will appear in the next two phases of your animation. Now we want the precipitation phase to appear in your animation at the 4 second mark. To do this, position your time cursor at 4 seconds. Tap the cloud icon to access the Do Ink Art props, and add the cloud that was used previously. Remember, your iPad needs to be connected to the internet to do this. Position your cloud to correspond to the last position in the condensation phase. Note in this phase, the cloud will not move nor change size. Now let's add rain. Tap the cloud icon again to access the Do Ink Prop Library and search on the word rain. You can preview the prop to see if you like it by tapping the right facing arrow. If satisfied, tap the prop to add it to your composition. It is now an element that can be resized by using the handles of the selection box. Extend the rain element's duration to the 6 second marker. Open the selected element tool palette by tapping on the icon of a box with an arrow pointing to the right. This is where the tools are to edit an element, delete it, arrange the order, or reset its path. In this example, tap the downward facing arrow to move the element down one layer on the timeline. Now your rain appears behind the cloud. Add text to label the precipitation phase of your animation and position the text accordingly. If you've forgotten how to use the text tool, refer to our previous tutorial. In our next tutorial, we'll create the collection phase and complete our water cycle animation.